talks of him. Um, so his name, which probably I, I, I might have a go at saying it, Andy Poste Kolo, Kolo, uh, um, he's Greek. Um, this looks to be the favourite for the Celtic job, a man the club have uh, looked to already have contact with and a backup plan to Eddie House deal following through, which I did a video on how long guys discussing that. If you haven't checked out already, check it out after this video. Um, I haven't said already guys, subscribe like, um, which obviously it did, it did, it did, it did fall through. Um, Aussie was the manager of Australian Australia national team, he is one of the most successful Australian club coaches, which I don't think is it that hard um, for any Australian just watching the the channel, if you are watching, I don't know if you are, but if you are, is, a, is Australia a good football league? Um, comment, in, comment down below guys. Um, with two premierships, four championships and a continental title, he's currently manager of Yokama F. Marinos. Um, this will also explain the reasoning behind Tom Roderick staying back from international duties and getting himself fit to be a, a regular under Angie. Or Ang, Angie, I'm pretty sure. Um, what's your thoughts, guys? Um, leave a comment down below. Uh, I'm not too sure um, about us, to be honest. Um, a Greek, is that was a Greek? He was born in Australia, um, currently working with Japanese side, which I already said, is in advanced talks with Celtic, the 55 year old is very close to be a body manager at any time now after Eddie Howe the deal falling through. Um, he's worked in both Australia and Japan, also on this stint as Australian boss, so interesting stuff there. Um, now I just wonder, you know, was this plan B all along, you know, after... I don't know how it managed to take so long just to find out Eddie Howe wasn't, wasn't coming, you know what I mean? Um, maybe that's just the backup plan all along, just saga just rolled on and on, on more than it should have. And now they've came out now with the links of uh, Angie Postico, I can't even pronounce the name, Post, Postikolu. Um, but I think that's him anyway. Um, but yeah, the advanced talks for Celtic. Um, this is the plan B as such. Um, obviously, Eddie Howe probably broke down, probably broke down uh, months ago maybe, but um, it's going to be very interesting, I don't know, um, I've seen a tweet, um, I'm going to try and get up, if I can, so, Um, so somebody says, I look into, hold on, I look into this guy and his style is definitely one that I, that we've lacked this season with a high focus on utilising, utilising both full backs as attacking threats, which is definitely what we need to see it, especially last season there, that season there, um, you know, um, Greg Taylor um, under Neil Lennon, um, obviously Frimpong was there, was the Frimpong was good doing the wing, but didn't have that finishing attacking sense as you're such, you know, the attacking threat. Taylor didn't, you know, he, did, he got there in the end maybe, but not much that you wanted to see him as. Um, he seems comfortable with using different formations, which is great, and adapting during games, but mainly sticks to a 4 3 3, which is great to us. I don't, there's no problem to us. Um, obviously, a rebuild's going to be massive, but, you know, um, it's going to be. I mean,. I mean, it does all of a sudden, you know, our, you, that article in Logic wanting to stay and fight for a chance earlier this week, which I read. At first, I was like, mm, makes perfect sense, no, doesn't it? There you go, all along, this guy coming. Um, but I, I want nothing more for our, our club and whoever manages it to succeed. But this strikes me as a competition winner appointment. This is not the appointment we need, who knows. He may succeed in that, I hope he does, or I really do. Um, going from. Going from this um, to Eddie Howe is a sign of panic, a true panic. 
Um, but I wish him, obviously, if he comes to Celtic, the best I succeed. I always do. A new manager at Celtic, I wish he does well. But I, I really, I think it's panic stages. I'm I'm in the middle, but I think that was panic stages from Celtic. Um, I didn't think it was going to be much, but... Um, so, this guy, um, Andrzej Postikulu, um Annie Postikulu, yeah, that's how you say it, okay, something like that, I, I, sorry guys, I'm trying to his name, his teams he's coached in South Melbourne, on Australia under 17s and under 20s, Brisbane Roar, Melbourne Victory, Australia, Yukama Marinos, won the A-League in 2011 with Thor and 11, uh, no, Jai won the league in 2019 with Japan, uh, AFC Asian Cup in 2015 Australia boss, longest undefeated streak in Australian sport in history, 36 games, 2011-2012 season, so, um, so there you go, um, it's just, um, I I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time maybe panic stations, so, So he comes out as a video. Uh, he says, "I know that my team teams play good football. I know I'm a good coach. Certainly, he's certainly a confident man, isn't he? We'll find out if he comes. Um, so we'll find out, guys. I'll leave you with uh, that interview. Um, I'll leave you with that interview. I'll try and get it up, but I'll leave you that interview, guys. Till next time, a peace and hopefully by maybe tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning maybe, or even over the you know Monday, Tuesday next week." We see this guy come in, maybe, or whoever it is. Best of luck to him. Best of luck to you. Okay, subscribe and like, guys, and I'll see you for the next video soon. You as a coach, after our World Cup game, Louis van Hull, <laughs> he didn't shake my hand. I like that because it told me that we were on the right path. Yeah, look, uh, again, and that's just me, I, I guess, with, with my kind of... Aussie battler spirit <laughs> going that, you know, I just, I won't cop it anymore. You yeah. know, I don't need people to tell me that we, my teams play good football. I, I know that. Yeah. Uh, I don't need anyone to tell me I'm a good coach. I know that. Um, and if anything, if they're walking away and they're not happy and, and they're having a go at me, at least it means I've upset them a little well, bit. Okay, and I've, I've upset a few to be <laughs> well, you have.